What is up you guys? It's Nat and welcome to my video. Today we're doing another speed build and as you can tell by the title, today's build is an affordable starter home. Now I don't know the exact dimensions of this, although you can probably tell if you just count the uh, squid, squid, <laughs> the squid, if you count the squid, no, if you count the grid squares um, really quick in the video. Uh, you can tell the dimensions, but this is a pretty small house. It's a single story um, Really just built for one sim Maybe two there is a queen-size bed in the bedroom. However, I had to tuck it up against the wall to get it to fit um, You can probably adjust it slightly if you just move it like half a grid square I'm sure another sim can fit in there, but I was just thinking this would be uh, good for Your like, you know original sim. Maybe if you're doing like a legacy gameplay or something just one sim um, but I tried to make the outside as cute as I could, cute, as attractive, I guess, as I could. Um, and by the way, you're going to notice, I know eventually that I do change the roof color. I'm going to drink water. I do change the uh, roof color. Um, for a while, I have the windows like green and white, and I hate it. So I changed everything to white, um, but you should see in the screenshots, because it's not included in the build, I wound up changing the shutters on the one window with shutters to black just to match the roof, and I liked it a lot better just for some contrast. Uh, I have noticed that I've been really um, building white houses. I mean, I only have two speed builds up before this, but I've only done white houses, and I just feel like, I don't know, this is the only good paneling that I can find for outside, but I don't really like the other color options. Like, I like the colors that are available, but I don't like the shades, I guess. So I'm probably gonna have to just make some either custom content or find some or find better ways to paint the outside of the house because I don't know, I'm getting tired of like just uploading white houses. But anyway, regardless of all that, so this definitely would fit uh, one sim relatively comfortably. It is play tested, so everything does work. There is one bath, one bedroom, and then an open uh, kitchen, like a kitchenette slash uh, living space. Um, not really a dining space because part of the kitchenette is island counters where we have bar stools, so that is really where your sim is going to, uh, sit and eat breakfast and whatever else they feel like doing. Um, so yeah. There's not, I feel really bad because there's not a whole lot of landscaping. In the last video I was talking about how much I love landscaping The Sims 4. But unfortunately, because it was a starter home, I was trying to keep it as affordable as possible. And I literally came down to where I think the lot that I built it on, I'm not sure that will matter, but it was like 1500 And then the house was, I originally thought it was just over seventeen, But when I moved the sim out, I realized that it was just under uh, 18,500 simoleons. So um, I made it as affordable as I could. And I didn't want the outside, uh, not the outside, the inside to look like total crap. I don't want the outside to look like crap either. But I just figured, you know what? There's not as much landscaping as I would normally like, but I want it to be affordable. And when it came down to it, I would rather have a nice uh, decorated and built in, like furnished. That's what I'm looking for, furnished inside rather than outside. So at the end, I do throw in a couple of quick bushes, but you know, when you are when you start playing your sim and they have a career or whatever they decide to do if they're a kleptomaniac and they steal things, whatever, <laughs> however they make money, um, you will be able to add on to this house. I made sure to keep it up near the front of the lot so you can see there's plenty of space in the back so you can always start building onto the house yourself later. Or, you know, sell it and move up to a bigger house. Uh, but either way, there is room for, you know, expansion um, and obviously plenty of room for landscaping and blah 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 uh so we're working on the kitchenette right now and i was trying to figure out the layout that i wanted um everything is a little tight i was gonna uh, i was thinking about doing a tiny living house um because i've seen that show before on tv and then i've seen other uh simmers on youtube try to make tiny living houses and someone who's really really good at it is uh sim supply you should check them out it like became a thing that he was doing really often and I don't know I love his tiny living builds um, and he uses like uh, like move object sheets and stuff to do some like really ridiculous things just to make stuff fit and I was thinking about doing it but I don't know because um, I d while this is definitely a small house I would not call it a tiny living house by any means I think there's too much space on the interior despite its size so um, I might do a tiny living style build at some point, but just not right now. This is just an affordable starter. Um, don't want you to feel claustrophobic while you're playing your game. So uh, yeah. Oh, I did the, um, I really, really love that uh, wall, uh, wallpaper, I guess. 
it's the plaster one like just the plain plaster but to me it almost looks like white brick which it might be with plaster over I'm not quite sure but regardless I just really like it and I actually used it in one of my actually in the uh, legacy that I was talking about the other day the legacy levy legacy there we go um, because I don't know he started off in a small house like this and then it built up to an even bigger house when he had a family and he got a job and blah 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 and to me, it was like, you know, he was expanding his home. So there was a lot of construction going on. So in his kitchen, the backsplash is that plaster. And I just, I don't know, I really like it. Other people might not, but I do. I think it gives the house more of a, it's being worked on feel. Um, almost like a, I guess, a fixer upper or like a renovated house feel. Um, and as you can probably tell as well, I'm a really big fan of these closets. Um, I really like these, uh, like built into the wall closets because actually in my bedroom I have one and uh I want to say last year or two years ago I got this really nice like elephant tapestry because I love elephants and um I decided to take the doors off of mine because they were swinging like they were sliding doors but they hung off the floor and they would constantly fall out of place and they drove me nuts and so I decided to take them off and I don't know where the doors are now I think I put them downstairs in the basement and now I just have my tapestry and I like it so much better um, but I th feel like it's because I have that in my room I also have a no actually I have two bureaus and then that um, but I don't know I just really like that closet space so I feel like that's why I'm such a big fan of these and I just like putting them into the walls and they're tucked away and then you have more as long as you have the room to put them in then you have more space to put other stuff in the bedroom. Like if it's a square bedroom, if you can just tuck that into like a two square space, then you don't have to worry about a bureau taking up extra room. And I don't know why I'm going on such a tangent with this right now. Um, but as you guys will notice, I was literally complaining um, last night when I was doing the voiceover for my other build, the Cape Cod home, about how long my videos were because the first one was a relatively small ranch. I think it was like 50,000 simoleons or something like that. But like... It took me so long to build it. It took me maybe 20 minutes less than the Cape Cod build to build it. And it really should not have at all. Um, and I really hate the backyard and everything. But I don't know. I feel like I was just so indecisive. And I was so worried about getting a build out for my channel. And I just wanted it to be good. And I mean, it got, you know, a fair response on the gallery. I mean, I know there are people who have like hundreds and thousands of downloads. But like overnight, it got like 20 or 21 downloads. And... I thought that was nice. I was like, oh, that's cool. You know, like, it's exciting. Um, sorry about that. That was my chair. <laughs> that was totally my chair. I don't even know if you guys heard it, but you probably did because this mic is really sensitive. But um, anyway, it just took so damn long to build. So darn long. I don't know. Can I say that word? I'm talking about a beaver dam. I'm not saying the other bad word. I'm saying the beaver dam. <laughs> Cover myself. Oh, man. But um, I was complaining about how long my builds are taking, and then this one is less than 10 minutes. I mean, once it's finally up on YouTube, um, I'm trying to see how long it is. I think it might be about 10 minutes once it hits YouTube, because we have the intro and then we also have the screenshots at the end, so that will add on a bit of extra time. But it looks like we're getting... Are we almost done? Oh yeah, and I'm just like being really picky about how I want the decorations in the bedroom and blah 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 um I put in a little rug because who doesn't like a little space rug space rug is that what's called space carp no that doesn't that doesn't sound right but I'm pretty sure it, oh area rug not space rug an area rug oh my goodness <sighs> I love myself I swear I love myself I don't hate myself what are you talking about <laughs> and this is just me getting picky with the windows um because I used to take so long to put, win not take so long to put windows in, but I would try to put in as many windows as possible and I would want it to be all like equivalent, like um, symmetrical as far as the windows went. And I forget who said it, but it was a similar that I was watching recently said like, you know, add the windows after and, you know, don't put in too many windows because then when you try to build around the windows, it's just a pain. So I do that now and like, it's honestly so much better. But anyways, oh, we're wrapping up the house. Look at that, everybody. I can't see them right now, but I'm assuming there are screenshots there. Aren't they lovely? You can see that the shutters were changed in color, and I added a small white trim around the uh, roofs of the house. And um, my dog just farted, so that 
really smells. So I'm going to wrap up this voiceover. But thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate all of your support. As always, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. And before you forget, this is available for download on The Sims 4 Gallery. Just search hashtag it's Nat. Although actually, now that I think about it, the hashtag wasn't working on this one. I don't know why it wasn't working as a hashtag in this description. But if you search my username, NatJack94, um, or if you just search hashtag it's Nat, you will see my other builds pop up. You can find my profile from there. And that's where you can download this house. It costs just under, I think it's 18,500. I think it was like 18,400 and something. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.